Hey, what's up guys? Well, it's been a little while since I made a video on YouTube. Well, I'm back here in my hometown of Fairbury. That was my buddy Joel. I think we'll go ahead and put him in the video. What up, Joel? sure that's my mom's jeep right there yeah it is i can see the sticker in the back so guys i'm just cruising around my hometown getting some footage today i was gonna go walk around the park but it's a little brisk out 60 degrees i guess i could throw a sweatshirt on hey there's a garage sale right there so they just got done restoring that park right over there to give you all the history as fast as I can. Well, that guy used to live in Fairbury. He's uh, he's long past. He actually went out to California during the gold rush and he struck it rich. Little rocker box right there. And what I find interesting about him is he's had several different, he's had a lot, quite a few different things listed on that sign that he's done during his life. I was out on a bike ride one night and I wanted to check out the newly re re really innovative. Here's a picture of some coal miners. Fairbury is an old coal mining town. Back when I was a kid, you used to be able to see some evidence of it off the main highway in town, Highway 24. There's John Marsh's house. It's called Marsh Park. I think that's the reason. I'm guessing that he owned the property of the park, and that's why it's called Marsh Park. Here's my GMC pickup truck. Uh, all guys, I'll show you guys the van here in a second. Hopefully this thing fires up battery isn't really the best in it i drove it a little bit yesterday and my buddy came out we put a charge on it off his car jump start it oh yeah well here's the current situation on the van two days ago it was sitting on a u-haul trailer being pulled by a u-haul truck so the issue i'm having right now is the vehicle is not starting I broke down Iowa, put five gallons of gas. I actually, I accidentally put E85 in this thing, uh, but I don't think that's the issue of why it broke because, well, it ran 100 miles down the road after that. But the problem I'm having right now is I am getting no spark. So I have no spark, so whatever. I took this plug right here and I ground it right here and uh, I cranked it several times. So right now I'm in the process of trying to get my van going again. Got back in some weights last night. Nothing crazy, I did about five sets. It is the ignition control module. And there's the mounting bracket, I need that. That, the screws for in the van, but it probably comes with some new screws. Huh, no it doesn't come with new screws, so I'm glad I have the old screws. So guys, I wanted to document all this on YouTube, the whole process of the van breaking down and everything. I mean, I'm not thrilled about it, but I would have everything documented. But I haven't been doing YouTube now for about three weeks, probably. Probably, maybe, actually, probably about a month and a half I haven't done any YouTube. I'll go ahead and say my computer finally fried after I bought this camera right here to start making videos again. This was my action camera. I was going to take some underwater dredging footage and stuff. And now my number one priority is to get the van running again. I really need to get this mess cleaned up out here in the yard and get all this stuff put away and packed back in the shed here. So uh, that's what I've been doing. Thankfully I still have the old good GMC pickup truck. This is my truck that I started take going out on the road when I was 23 years old. Uh, I think it's been out west about six times now. California two times I believe, maybe three at least twice and it's been out to Colorado a few, couple of few different times well that, that didn't work could be a bad crank sensor I don't know I really need to get a test light and uh, check this stuff out but uh, it is possible that this sensor is bad I don't quite know at this point more research well here it is my hard drive
I was gonna try to fix it and get a new data cable for it but uh yeah um when I went to replace it some other little pieces broke and I pretty much just said screw it so that translated into buying a new, a new computer man I had a bad crankshaft sensor that was the cause of my vehicle not starting backyard here at home it feels good to have a computer again and be able to vlog and get back to making videos again like I said earlier if, if it made the cut my videos are gonna be taking a change for a while uh, they're gonna go from van life to gold mining and I'm gonna be changing the channel into a more fitness direction I decided I'm gonna go ahead and change the channel and name from the I just think it makes more sense having my name than the traveling prospector because I'm not gonna be out on the road for a while and I don't know when I'm gonna be back out on the road to tell you guys the truth I'm I'm gonna be changing the direction of things uh, in the next few months I'm gonna be making a lot more fitness videos and that's where my attention is going to be. I'm going to be putting as much time as I can into making YouTube videos, YouTube fitness videos. And the biggest goal that I have right now is it is to get in the best shape of my life. And uh, it's time. I've been going after this goal for years. I've uh, been lifting weights for years now, but uh, I really have a different focus and different attention. I really have a different focus right now and different thoughts than I ever have. Uh, about working out in the fitness community and the industry. I, I really don't know where the gold mining is going to go. Uh, I wish I had more information to give you right now, but I really don't know. I've just spent the last five to six months living in my van, and quite frankly, it feels good to be uh, back here in Illinois right now. I would have really liked things to go differently um, than what they did. I would have liked to come back with more gold than what I did, and I haven't been doing very good on my gallon of water a day, but what I'm trying to do is every day I like to drink a gallon of water and I like to take in at least 175 grams of protein. I'm changing the diet right now. I'm cutting a lot of the carbohydrates out and I'm really, really trying my best. And that's the direction. I'm, uh, I'm not quite there yet. I didn't even get close to 175 grams of protein yesterday and I didn't drink a gallon of water yesterday, but Right now, uh, I'm getting there. I gotta clean the van out still, get all this crap cleaned up, and uh, gotta do some more organizing down at the shed, and get the gym all fixed up. I, well, I still have a little bit more cleaning up to do in here, and get the gym floor all cleared up, get the table out of here, even though it is kinda nice to ride on, but I, what will end up happening is stuff will just end up getting piled on there, so. Get the floor cleared again and get all this cleared again. I want to get my drums set back up. Um, they need some new heads and stuff, but they still work. Uh, I mean, it's, it's a gym right now, but it just needs to be a little bit more organized. I got some posters and stuff uh, I like to hang on the walls. So right now, to be truthful, I really don't know what what my gold mining future holds. Uh, right now, though, I know I'm getting back to making videos, and I'm really pushing in the fitness direction. Uh, making a fitness channel was always something that I wanted to do, and it was actually, when I created the Traveling Prospector, I wanted it to be more than just a van life channel, and I wanted it to be more than just a gold mining channel. I wanted it to be a lifestyle channel. So we'll see what life brings, guys. Uh, right now, I don't have a job. Uh, I just got back into town a couple weeks ago. I don't have a lot of money, but I have a little bit. And what I'm doing right now is I'm putting the next 30 days into doing YouTube. And uh, this is my life, you know. That's how life goes. Sometimes life changes. I was just living in the van for the last five to six months. And now my life has changed. I'm back here in Illinois, and I'm moving forward with things. I don't exactly know how things are going to work out. Uh, the next three four months but I know I can only take it one day at a time and try my best to be the best version of, of myself every day so that's the whole goal guys to be better every day and uh, to keep rocking all right guys um, I think I'm gonna get some more footage later today so I do not think this is where I'm gonna end the vlog I'll talk at you later